folds black wings to the limewoods, streaking spectres, one by one, by a thousand, swoop like rushing ladies, skirts peeling the sun's last rays. They shelter in the umber of autumn's tresses. Embrace the closing sky. Thank you. In the shadow of the great Zelkova tree, three girls crouch like seedlings sprouted close together. Deciduous tree casts evergreen shade. The girls divine with dead sticks in the bald, sacred circle, tonsured by the footsteps of afternoon pilgrims who cross the dark threshold, pause and look inevitably up into that cosmos of leaves. Even great Yggdrasil's foliage must fall, release the slow ecstasy of summer. The girls wait, even now, for those leaves to shower them, for angels to shed their red and copper flame feathers. Thank you. She circles the branch once, a rare path to follow to the ground. She's often had a different dream than her brothers. Last spring, she thought she was a hawk, perched like a bird, spotting a koi in silver pond. She tugged, wind whipped against her stem. Her brothers laughed. She laughed, too, when summer heat licked its lips and acorns grew plump on storytelling. It is the time to dive, to shine in red. Her brothers in the silver pond below watch her crimson foil loop the branch. Now dream and error both hold equal weight, carried down by joy, by breeze and shadow. She lands reflected gently on the pond, above the traffic cone. A set of wings. Farm. And a little context, Benetucci Farm is a farm in Colorado Springs that, due to its water table being contaminated by the local Air Force Base, became unable to grow edible fruits and vegetables. But in light of these difficult circumstances, they became a flower farm. Should you one day think yourself polluted, immersed in a poison city, may someone see the potential in all your bursting dirt. May you be as tended to as this earth. There are always things worth growing. There will always be a world of life that longs to make a home in you. You do not have to be consumed to make the world better. You can just be. Be watered. Be pollinated. Be loved. May your roots touch roots. May you be tickled pink and red and yellow and green and green and green by a million antennae. May you be as fortunate as the bees who call this flower farm home. May you find yourself bathed in a banquet of hues. May your hive be prismatic with scent and sweet. May you dance a thousand roadmaps where each destination is a handful of sunset gathered in a jar. And when the day comes and you find yourself ready, your bloom as full as can be, May your exit be one in which the scent of your life lingers, catches the light on the windowsill, just right. May we all celebrate that day, when you, wilting and soft, return home to all that good dirt, from which we all came, to which we will all return. Thank you. Juicing the orange of summer, to the very last drop. Mornings and apricot and languid afternoons, all amber and bluster, they glow and they flow into soft September sunsets, whisked up in cirrus, Grand Marnier gold and grenadine. Oh, for an endless summer. But look here, other weathers are on their way. When autumn airs simmer, the horizon shimmers, steeped in sweet spices and ginger wine. Still sweetness in green garden apples and newborn berries and baby figs. But there's the souring of leaves, curling up at the edges like the weathered pages of a well-loved book. A shower of green tears, chlorophyll rain, wilted daisy chains. But summer dreams and wildflowers, we forget you not. Skin still hot, summer's tattoo. Wherever there's tension, release follows soon. 
the hot air rises, cracks and climaxes in a theatre of storm, ceremonial. A crossover to the moon, then soon after it dissipates, silver soaked in the after drizzle. Weather the shiver, its respect for the cycle. Light a candle, drop the fight. Draw in the curtains, greet the new nights. A fragment of weak light just barely reveals a moment of hope buried within me, tucked away till spring pushes forth the earth. Bits of green disrupt the barren ground for beneath the surface new growth was happening. We just couldn't see what we already knew to be true. The best is yet to come. A season of slumber must cover the ground, protect the process and warm the spirit so a seed can take root beautiful soil, dark only in color. It is better that we cannot see, except for that sliver. Sun shining toward us, lighting the path up out from the depth. We aren't in hiding. It isn't our time. We aren't ready to bloom to our fullest. We need more repose. Don't discount winter. She adds a glistening blanket of loveliness to the bed in which we lay. Solitude, silence, patience, truth, revealed by nature as seasons chart the course. Follow their lead and the harvest awaits. Bounty abundant, joy and jubilee. Spring, summer, autumn will come, but first we wait. Winter, allow her to allow me to rest. We alight over cobblestone streets, pious as magpies, jocular as jays. The clock tower's somber toll means nothing to us then, till the sudden enchantment is cast. The morose wind tugging at our coats as frail leaves swirl and skitter. The gusts seem to prod, beckon even, and somehow I know that now, oh fickle instant, we could walk on water if we tried. For the evening is young, and we are alive while so many slumber, cold and still, underground. So perhaps all that remains, as night wanes a flame, is to wonder and wait. What does one do with a stirred soul? Thank you. I bring you into the present moment with a drop of warm summer rain, the cold touch of snowflakes on your tongue. The fragrance of a spice, perhaps cinnamon and cacao, with the melody of a warm coffee to wake you up. The tune of your favorite song with the voice of love. Hot, making you shiver. As you feel its touch on your skin, as if it's real. Though it was only the echo of a soft frequency, melodic words that sounded like music to your ears. Follow the bliss where no past and no future are needed. Sometimes I let a strong wind blow through my whole body, moving my cells. I let the fresh breeze flow through my head. When the air creates space for a new alphabet, it is exactly time to feel your favorite color again. On the Californian coast, the rocks jut jaggedly out of swollen turquoise seas and the eucalyptus trees grow in thick blue gum groves. Every time we drive through a copse of silver trunks, I hang my head out the car window and receive a free summer facial. 